I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 7510 model laptop and in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step how to remove or replace your keyboard or including if you want just open it up and clean it up and you surprise how much garbage can get in between the keys I'm going to show you in a second. By removing the keyboard you're not going to uh, do any change in the configuration or anything like that you just plug and play. I'll try to get the new link for the keyboard for replacement part. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you want to purchase your. So I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. I use the iFixit screwdriver set, as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, for the opening tools, use a guitar pick, a metal guitar pick. It's really suitable for opening cases and power. I like to have a handy uh, sharp tweezers. With all this on hand, let's go ahead and do the service. Of course, thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down, and you're going to remove the battery. So flip upside down, remove the cover, slide it this way, and slide the cover towards yourself. Remove. Next, we want to remove the battery by pulling this trigger all the way to the left, right, and then lift up the battery. Next. And let's go ahead and remove the hard drive. You don't need to, but it's kind of better to do it because it's just going under the cable right there. I don't like that. So let's remove the four screws that touches the hard drive. So one, two, third one right there, and the fourth one in the corner. Once you remove these screws, now we're going to lift up this right here and then slide it backward and put the hard drive to one side. All right, now that we remove the hard drive, next, what you want to do, you want to lift up this cover. Uh, I believe this is for the backlit. So we're going to open up this hinge, open up the hinge beside it. Just put your finger and you lift up 90 degree. Open up the hinge for this one, for the uh, keyboard. Slide this flex cable back. Slide these two flex cable back. And I believe this is for the nipple tracker. So let's go ahead and just for now leave it unchecked right there, leave it like that and now we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to open it up. Now we need to remove the bezel for the keyboard and you're going to see the tiny little hinges right there, spot right there. You want to put the guitar pick right in there and then we want to just lift it up. Make sure you only lift up the bezel, you don't lift up the keys and then grab it up and then you want to pull it up gently, don't yank it too hard. Just Wiggle it around like a 45 degree angle, just like that. Move your hand closer and then lift it up. So you can take it outside or wash it up with a uh, soap and just clean up with a toothbrush and leave it for drying. All right, once we remove that one, now we're going to remove a few screws. One, two, three screws on the bottom row, and there's a three screws between the keys. One, two, and third. So we're going to go, go ahead and remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching. Also, if you guys like my video, it's helping you guys to replace your keyboard. You can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once you remove the screws, now, where is my opening tool right there? You want to lift it up from the front end. You want to lift it up gently. Gently bring it up, and you're going to see all these cables that we unplugged is coming up from here. You can lift it up and pull it towards yourself, and then slide it back. Make sure when you're sliding it back, the cables, if they're not coming because they have a little plastic, the plastic has to go through nicely, so I'm just going to feed it through here. There we go. Once you feed it through the other side, they will come easy. And there we have it. Okay, and you can see it's already really dirty right in here. You can see all those dirt in between them. You can use a toothbrush, do not wash it. Just use a toothbrush to clean it, take it outside, and just blow some air through here. I'll be back right after this. All right, now that we clean up the keyboard, it's really simple. If you wanna know the part number for the keyboard, I'll leave the part number right in here. It's a 0383D7. 
Okay. Now let's say you got the new keyboard, you just want to feed all the cables through the jack right there. And before feeding everything, you want to bring it up in 45 degree and put the top, top side down. And you want to push it down. Make sure these cables are not pinched and they are nicely fit through. You want to put the tiny screws on the bottom row. You can do a better job than me cleaning it up. I'm just doing it quickly for the sake of the video. I'm going to open it up and re-clean it again. A few more stuff to do on this laptop. So put the three screws in the mat. And now we're gonna grab the cover on top, the bezel, put it down and just push it down and just snap on between the keys, push in between the keys. And make sure you hit those nice tiny triggers right there. And push it down. And that's all you need to do here. Once you finish with this part, you wanna close it down, come back over here, and we're gonna open up the locks for each one of these, and we're gonna Put down the flex cable all the way inside. Grab the hard drive, put it in an offset position, and then slide it down toward the jack, and put the four screws for the caddy for the hard drive to hold it in place. Okay, grab the battery, put the back side of the battery down, and snap it down. Put the cover on top in an offset position, slide it up, lock it down, and that's it. And that's how you remove, replace, or clean your keyboard for your Dell Precision 7510 laptop. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.